We met up with this girl on Tinder. Uh -huh. We went on three dates in four days. We kiss. It's cool. That's it. Then I brought it up to Graham. Graham investigates her Instagram, uh -huh. finds a photo with it a was guy. Hidden, and I click this guy's profile, and it had her name as his Instagram bio with a oh, heart. God. I FaceTimed her, and I was like, hey, what's going on with this? She's like, oh, it's my ex. We broke up. He's inactive on social media. Okay. Graham DMs the guy. We call him and say, hey, just letting you know, I went on a date with this girl. What's the deal with you and her? And he's all, that. And he gets all angry. He's all, we've been dating for two years. I bought her a car. I gave her thousands of dollars. Yeah. We have been together in a loving relationship. Check right. this out. Sends me a photo of his wall. Just Polaroids of them all on the yes. wall. And he said, thank you so much. This restores my faith in humanity. I Boy, wish restores and both yeah. destroys. Because the moment. fact that someone will go out of their way to give this guy a right. heads up, it's the bro code. If yes. that's happening, you gotta let the other guy know. He said that we were guardian angels. Men are more loyal to men they barely know than women are loyal to one another. This is not a joke. This is not sexism or anything of that sort. It's the raw reality. However, it's amazing to see that integrity is still out there. That man right there is not only a legend, but also one of the smartest dudes out there. Why? Well, because he has common sense and knows how these things roll. When a woman cheats on a man and moves on to a rebound man, the guy she cheated on with doesn't lose the woman of his dreams. The rebound guy is the one who gets a massive problem. And the last thing smart men want is a woman who's a problem. Bro code is real. Just like women's speed to get a new man in a matter of days. Once for the streets, always for the streets. Check this out. Girls come here from other states to party and have a good time. Yep. These girls that you say, are the girl next door? She's not like that. Ba -da -da. They go on vacation to come here to let loose and be on boats with niggas like us, bro. Facts. That's why we're telling you guys this because we see it firsthand here in Miami, Florida. Go live in a vacation destination, a Miami, a Vegas, a LA, a New York City, where hypergamy is always on steroids and the girls are basically taking the guys to the top bidder. You'll see what I'm talking about, bro. Girls go on go girl trips for a reason. Not to mention there's statistical proof out there that women travel alone far more than men do since the advent of the internet. If you look at lone travelers, it's way more women than men, guys. Why? Ask yourself, why, is the, why do women travel alone? Bruh, because women know when they leave their immediate geographic area and they're able to travel, they're able to do things they otherwise would never do sexually and be able to get away with it. You know what I'm saying? If your girlfriend has pictures of her in Miami, LA, Vegas, Dubai, bro, she's not your girlfriend. She's a public commodity. Plus, she's not a prize no matter how hot she is. She's just a practice for some thirsty men out there, if not top tier men who have women throw themselves at them. Trust me, you don't want to deal with these women. In today's video, we're taking a deep look into women who belong to the streets, what's wrong with them, and why smart men are avoiding them. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Adam Rea, he said, quote, When I walk into that frat house, I get the tingles because I know my holes are about to be obliterated. Tell me you're a fatherless female without telling me you're a fatherless female. Yeesh, yeah, it doesn't get any more obvious than that, now does it? Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot, and now, Back to the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll blow a show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll blow a show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll blow a show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow I just wanted to say that you left out that you cheated on me and you broke up with me twice. You also were the only girlfriend I ever had, so thank you for making me look like the bad person in the relationship at school. And thank you for making Instagram posts degrading me saying that you're the best I'm ever gonna get. So even though you were my only girlfriend, I never treated you bad, so thank you. Man, this guy sounds hurt, but at least he recognized this is not the woman he wants for himself. 
Cheating is simply unjustifiable, especially when, as a man, you treat a woman right. You might travel to all these tourist places like Hawaii, LA, and Miami, meet a lot of women along the way, and keep in touch with a couple when you get back home. You can see firsthand either through your experience with them, or seeing them behave like absolute 304s. That's the reality of the hot girl summer. Every woman you meet who has a partner back home will cheat, and then you'll hear them on the phone telling them how much they miss them. As soon as you come home, refer back to the bro code and tell your homeboys. If you have a girlfriend and she wants to go traveling without you, finish with her there, and then otherwise she will get smashed from pillar to post. This is what's getting many men messed up. When a woman desires you less for whatever reason, she's almost encouraged to travel by herself to give each other, as they say, time and space. Women always come up with shitty excuses to do unacceptable stuff. They'll throw away your years together, all the money you spent on them, all the bad things you helped her go through, including the gossip about her colleagues, how stupid her boss is, and all that jazz. You know what I'm saying, fellas? The current dating scene is messed up, not because men don't want to commit or marry. The pool of good women is almost nowhere to be found, but 304s are all over the place, especially on the streets. One of the most telling signs that a chick belongs to the streets and not, say, the kitchen, is the company she keeps, her friend group. It's like they say, you're the sum of the people you spend the most time with. You know how it goes, and it's not just a cliche. It's something 99.9% .9 of the population knows, but women don't care. They feel special and think they'll not be influenced by their whole friends. The people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on who we become, right? That's why it's crucial to take a closer look at our friends and what they're all about. Now, let's dive into the significance of a girl's friend group when it comes to assessing her character. You get the idea that the people she chooses to be around say a lot about her own values and lifestyle. If her friends are all about partying, hopping from one relationship to another, and embracing the streets as a way of life, there's a good chance she's cut from the same cloth. It's just the way it is. Observing her actions and behaviors, especially when she's with her friends, can provide valuable insights into her own tendencies. Again, actions, not words. If she's out there accepting free drinks from random guys, popping pills with future, playing the field like there's no tomorrow, and throwing herself at every guy in the club, well, you get the idea. There's a strong indicator of her character. Your whole radar must never be off, I'm telling ya. Check modern women at all times, or else face the consequences. But remember, and this is something that modern women just don't get. Here in our community, the man guide community, we don't tell anyone what to do. We're all about exercising our preferences. You have the power to choose who you want to spend your time with, and a woman who behaves badly spends a lot of time partying, and lets many men use and abuse is simply the worst woman you can have by your side. It's just the way it is. The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. And <laughs> it was fun. I hope I did a little damage. This is a rare breed of female. If you happen to come in contact with one, do not look it in the eyes as you will turn to stone. In all seriousness, men need to be better at spotting red flags in women. If you keep getting played, you're probably easy to take advantage of. Only you can fix that. I can just give you advice. If you see a female wearing anything along the lines of what she is wearing, she's only good for the night and belongs to the streets. Something that you wouldn't really want anybody to know, but like we just aired that shit um, out. that I fucked on my mom's bed, but then I didn't wash the sheets. Whoa! She belongs to the streets. First and foremost, pay close attention to a woman's friend group. Are they the type of people you want to be associated with, or do they raise some, if not hundreds, of red flags? If her friends are known for being promiscuous or engaging in reckless behavior, there's a good chance she's influenced by them. You know what I'm saying? If she's always surrounded by other women who embrace the streets there's a higher likelihood that she's part of that world too. Birds of a feather flock together, right? In these situations, it's a moral obligation to exercise discernment and prioritize your own values and well-being. You know how it goes. Life is too short to waste time with someone who doesn't align with your goals and standards. 
Your time is one of your most valuable resources, and you shouldn't waste it on a relationship that's likely to lead to heartache and disappointment. And maybe your wallet will cry too. When it comes to relationships, men are finally putting themselves first. If a woman's lifestyle, as reflected by her friend group, doesn't align with your desires for a stable, committed, and fulfilling relationship, it might be time to reassess your choices. It's just the way it is. Many men are afraid to set their own standards and make decisions that are in their best interest. But we don't give an F around here. Are our standards discriminatory? So be it. I don't want to waste my time and money on street belonging women, period. A girl's friend group can be a powerful indicator of her character and lifestyle. If you notice that her friends are all about the streets, it's crucial to assess whether this aligns with your own values and goals. Good for the night, they might be, but not good wives, let alone mother of your kids. Remember, you're the sum of the people you spend the most time with, so choose your company wisely. If women got this, the world would be a better place. Now, let's move on to another factor that determines how much a woman belongs to the streets. But before we do so, hit that like button and show us some love in the comments. I came across an interesting article that talks about a story of a woman who, you guessed it, proved to her man she belonged in the streets. There is a massive number of amazing pieces of advice in there. Let's check it out. I quote an eye-opener from the text, when it comes to relationships, you can't make good wine from bad grapes. If you're looking for a loyal, healthy, exclusive, monogamous relationship, women who make the best candidates come from good homes and families where the parents are great teammates and communicate and work out their differences in a healthy manner. Their father is the leader and head of the household and is in his masculine energy. The mother is the nurturer, feminine and submissive to the husband's leadership. Women who grew up in toxic environments where a strong, stable masculine presence is missing or there is cheating, lying, and infidelity never learn what healthy is, looks like, and feels like. They become emotionally anchored to and seek out drama-filled relationships because that feels normal to them. Never make the mistake of thinking it's your job to fix or save someone. It's your job to find a good, healthy match and teammate and walk away from toxic people. Your sanity and emotional health depends upon it. Look, here's something many men don't understand because they're busy chasing pussy and not good women, if such a woman exists in the West. If you are seeking a committed, wholesome, exclusive, and monogamous relationship, you'll often find that the best candidates are women who have already done the necessary internal work. This work involves exploring and addressing their own past experiences and healing any unresolved emotional wounds. Here's why this matters. High value men, those who bring a sense of stability, emotional intelligence, and a desire for a healthy relationship, typically do not invest their time in attempting to save women from their past demons. While they may be willing to support and encourage personal growth, they understand that it's not their role to fix or resolve deep-seated emotional issues. Playing Captain save a is simply a waste of your time. Women who come from nurturing and harmonious family backgrounds tend to make better candidates for healthy relationships. These environments often feature parents who serve as strong, loving teammates. They communicate effectively, collaborate to resolve conflicts, and set a positive example for their children. In this context, the father typically assumes a leadership role, embracing his masculine energy while the mother provides nurturing support and is willing to be submissive in a healthy way to her husband's leadership. However, as you very well know, women who have grown up in toxic environments characterized by the absence of a strong, stable, masculine presence or marred by behaviors such as cheating, lying, and infidelity often struggle to comprehend what a healthy relationship should look like. These experiences can leave lasting emotional scars and can anchor them to drama-filled dynamics. To them, these tumultuous relationships may feel normal. That's the root of the problem. Pair that with the influence of social media, Cardi B, Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion, and other bad wives out there. No wonder why women can't have healthy relationships these days and instead decide to be hoes. For those seeking a fulfilling and sustainable partnership, it's crucial to understand that while it's possible to support a partner's journey to healing, it's not your responsibility to be the savior. Your role, if you ever want to date, which I don't recommend, is to find a compatible, emotionally healthy partner and teammate. 
This choice is a fundamental aspect of preserving your own sanity and emotional well-being. Oh, and your wallet. It's also a significant part of fostering a relationship that is built on mutual growth, understanding, and the shared commitment to creating a healthy, fulfilling bond. I mean, didn't women want all this in the first place? Nah, they'd rather get Chad inside of them because that's more exciting than a quote-unquote boring man who treats them right. You've had so. five threesomes. I have. That's kind of the best of both well, worlds. Welcome to California. Five. I'm just wondering if this is like the new thing that freshmen do. That's why, that's more my, I'm not judging. I'm curious because I'm like, is this no. what freshmen do now? They just, no. that's the cool I don't thing. think a lot of people no, have been, I think it's, it's just kind of personal okay, to me okay. because I just, I it's didn't just know. It's just more. It's more fun. You gotta have more fun. It's more fantasized, I feel. Really? Mm -hmm. okay. People around our age, I would say. How many oh, dates until... One. One? <laughs> There's a McDonald's down the block. We can get you a Big Mac right now. That's all it takes? A, a Big Mac Actually, and some fries? It would take zero. <laughs> zero? Let's do it. All right, let's go to him. She's just being real. What she's really saying by then, if you're the right guy at the right time, at the right place, mm -hmm. that's all it takes. Whether she has a boyfriend or not, I learned this and I talked to all my guy friends about it. All it takes is the right guy at the right place at the right time. All in all, just don't get played. It's crucial to recognize that not every woman is seeking the same kind of relationship, and a woman who prioritizes the thrill of the chase over a commitment with a husband material type of guy may not be the best choice for a serious long term partnership. Your time, emotions, and aspirations matter. And settling for someone who comes with a baggage of unresolved issues that existed long before you entered the picture is not in your best interest. Instead of lowering your standards or accepting chicks who may not align with your vision of a healthy, loving relationship, set the bar high. It's not about being overly demanding, but rather about valuing yourself and your own happiness. I mean, real happiness, not what these women mean which typically has to do with getting their holes obliterated by random men. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.